I'd like to open the meeting up with a word of prayer. Would you please bow? Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come together during this retreat and work on issues that we have here in the county, the good ones and the bad ones. We ask that you put your hands on these meetings and lead us, guide us, and direct us in the way that you'd have Lowndes County to go. We ask that you continue to bless Lowndes County in the way that you have. All these things we ask in Christ's holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Uh, commissioners, I'm going to ask a little favor of each one of you. I know it can be very difficult, but I'm going to ask you to either set your phones aside or turn them off, please. We'll have plenty of time during breaks to um, address issues and take care of things such as that. So I would appreciate it. All right, uh, we're going to get started. First off, uh, we've got folks here with Henderson and God Godby. Uh, we've got um, Mr. Mark Rogers, Mr. Scott Simpson, and of course we've got uh, Mr. Harrison Tillman with us as well. And so, gentlemen, would y'all like to present the audit to us? Yes. Um, <coughs> your CAFRA for the year June 30th, 2018. Uh, is 162 pages long. And so what I've done is I've done a little summation like I've done in the past. Uh, a little two-page letter, three pages, summation of, of all your funds um, for the year ending June 30th, 2018. Um, so you know, if you want to get into to some of the weeds on it, I'm sure Harrison will Go through all, all 162 pages. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> uh, the total uh, government, total revenue, was 97767 for the year. Uh, 97 million. So I'm um, going to start with uh, page three. Page three is the general fund. What I've got on the left-hand side is 2018 actual, then you got 2018 budget, and then you got 2017 actual. So that gives you kind of a summation on how the county did on the government, uh, on the general fund. The general fund is basically everything that's not in a special revenue or capital or enterprise or, or internal service. So it's kind of a catch-all for the, the general government. Um, we ended the year with a budgetary income of $464,000 on total revenue of $56,075,000. We were, um, the fund balance was sixteen million three eighty eight nine sixty seven at the end of the year. So total revenue received fifty six million uh, seventy five thousand. We're over budget by six hundred thirty. I mean, three hundred sixty eight thousand dollars. Expenditures were fifty five million eight twelve, and they were under budget by 95,800. So uh, total taxes increased uh, 1,570,000 and were uh, 377,000 above the budget. Um, they call this with the property taxes uh, for this year. <coughs> Are there any questions on the, the general fund? I have any commissioners, any questions? All right. So we'll go to page, um, page four. Page four, um, the top side is the special revenue um, funds, and the bottom is the capital projects. Gotta get in the light here. So, um, total revenues for the special revenues was eleven million four hundred thirty-five thousand, compared to eleven million three hundred twenty-two the previous.
previous year. Uh, total expenditures were twelve million four hundred and sixty compared to eleven million five hundred and fifty the previous year. Um, expenses over revenues were six hundred and twenty six thousand in two thousand eighteen and there were revenues in excess of expenses of three hundred and seventy two thousand in the previous year. So your biggest funds in that are <coughs> special services and the E nine one one and the intergovernmental grants. to the capital projects, capital projects, total revenue was 22476000 compared to 2017's 21750000 Our expenses were 21094000 compared to 17637 in the previous year. Um, Operating transfers out were one million eight eighty nine compared to forty one thousand the previous year. So we ended with a negative um, five oh seven this year and a positive four million and seventy one last year. You know those capital projects. Sometimes you get the money in and then you expend the money the next year. So <coughs> there'll be some ebb and flows in these numbers. Whereas special revenues, don't find those usual, they're usually pretty pretty tight. These numbers kind of move around on you. Any questions? Page five. This has got your uh, enterprise funds and your internal service funds on it. Um, the enterprise funds include the water, sewer, the landfill, special lighting. Uh, 2018 total revenue seven million seven hundred seventy nine thousand compared to seven million nine seventy nine in 2017. Operating expenses were five million four hundred fifty-eight thousand compared to four million nine hundred sixty-seven. <coughs> Operating transfers in were one million two eighty-nine compared to transfers out of five hundred fifty-eight thousand previous year. Most of that comes through the water sewer, and that's through SPLOSS being transferred in. Um, so your net position at the end of the year was 42398000 in the enterprise. The majority of all of that comes through the water sewer. Um, at the end of the year, 3 million three oh three. And actually, it did impact this year because that's the smallest <coughs> loss you've had. It is. Yeah. So it's definitely a problem. Mm -hmm. We've tried to adjust that for the last two or three years yeah. to right. get it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's break it. I'm sorry. 
square. That's right. Any other questions? Okay. Go to the internal service funds. Um, total revenue were eleven million six hundred ninety-one thousand compared to ten million eighty-seven thousand the previous year. Operating expenses were eleven million one sixty-four compared to nine million nine forty-eight the previous year. Um, we showed a net income this year of five hundred twenty-six thousand compared to one hundred thirty-eight thousand the previous year. So the majority of that is in the health insurance. Health insurance showed a um, $153,000 income for the year. <coughs> Any questions on? Any questions? Based on the fund balance, we kind of look at that from from a standpoint of we'd like to have 120 days of operating in the fund balance. Where do we stand in days on that? You're not quite there. Okay. But you're you're in better shape than most people. I understand that. Right. Okay. Roughly, roughly, what is that number? Um, I'll calculate it for you. I'll get it for you a little bit. Any other questions? Comments? Again, gentlemen, we don't want to take any more of your time than we need to. Do. Thank you for your time and thank you for the presentation and the hard work. Thank you. Thanks for getting it in on time as well. That's right. We're one in a row. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I've told y'all every year before, and Stephanie and Harrison, I think, can uh, comment on this if necessary. Henderson Godby and specifically Mark and Scott work very, very well with the county in letting us know what they need, when they need, 
uh, and being sensitive to the demands of working with all the elected officials, time sensitivity to their dates that they have to have, and the cooperation between Harrison and Stephanie's office and them is great. And we haven't always had that type of relationship, and it makes it very, very enjoyable for the staff and all the departments to be able to deal with somebody who's that understanding. I agree. Um, also along those lines, of course, asking for your comments and situations in the county, but I mean, I heard nothing about there was any issues or cooperation from the county standpoint to help you get your information prepared so you could have it on time. Yes. Good cooperation, very, good very working good relationship. Like I said, it. usually mm -hmm. the, it's the component units we're, we're waiting on, and we Written them pretty good. <laughs> We've written them a little too much. Evidently, <laughs> we might have written them a little too much. Do y'all know what the component <laughs> units are? Does, are y'all marked and on it? So um, they're considered under your umbrella. And so the, the, the ones that are the, they're <coughs> on, um, and this is not included in the information I've given you, but in the in the financial statements, um, they are on page 24 through 28, and they are the um, the Board of Health, um, the Valdosta Lounge Development Authority, and the Parks and Rec Authority. Uh, now, we started doing the um, the development authority about four years ago. So that one has not been an issue. Um, but the other two, we have to wait on the other auditors to complete theirs to be able to put them in these financial states. So yeah, each of those other agencies, as he said, has their own financials, their own uh, auditing process, and those auditors move at their pace based on their clientele. And Look trying to dovetail that makes it very difficult. Be clear, though, that it, it, it's that it, even though it's the responsibility of those boards to make to, to do as the county does to try to make sure that the audits are presented on time, it really is not the boards or those departments. It's more so just the time that those auditors are taking to get that information compiled and get it to you. That's right. That's really what it's at. That's right. Mike Walker's one of five. Yeah, I was just, it was 105 is the number you said? Yeah. It's already yeah. Yeah. Today's operating. Yeah. Um. Marcus, did you have another question earlier? or? No, I was just thinking, thinking about some. Um, okay. All right, gentlemen, thank you all. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh,